starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Bryn Carmen, And I'm Paige Reynolds. And for Josh, we're currently following breaking news in Colorado Springs. Now, first responders have recovered a body from Prospect Lake just east of downtown after someone saw it floating in the water. Colorado Springs police confirmed that around 10 this morning. The coroner's office will now start to determine a cause of death and work with the police department to determine what exactly happened here. But so far, investigators do not believe there's any foul play. Taking you outside for a live look at Ferrisita this afternoon and a good afternoon to everyone in Huerfano County. Hello to you all. Hopefully you are trying to stay cool inside with the air conditioning or maybe you've got a nice fan and you're feeling a little better than being outside. We've pulled the temperatures back a couple degrees and we are looking at the chance for some storms this afternoon that might cool things off a little bit. Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Chris Larson joins us now. Yeah, I think we'll stay dry here, I-25, and hopefully get a cooling shower out to our west over the higher terrain. Taking a live look at our radar this afternoon, still pretty quiet. No thunderstorms as of yet. We've got generally clear skies over Colorado Springs, and our current conditions are on the warm side, but it is cooler than yesterday. Right now, we're still in the low 80s. We saw those temperatures soar into the mid-90s, triple digits yesterday afternoon. It's 81 Canyon City, 81 in Lyman. So we'll pull our high temperatures back, as Bryn said, for a couple of degrees this afternoon. 94 Pueblo, 87 Colorado Springs, 89 Canyon City. These are all still above average for this time of year. In terms of our chances for showers and thunderstorms, they're minimal today. Not more than about 10% here, but it does jump to 40% Friday. An isolated thunderstorm possible on Saturday, and our high temperatures are going to be on the warming side. So here's our future cast as we head into the afternoon. Again, showers and thunderstorms along the Sangres, up into the Central Mountains, down over the San Juan Mountains. But you'll notice that from Walsenburg and up the I-25 corridor, it's relatively quiet as we head into the afternoon. But those hot temperatures, they're going to be right back with us by tomorrow. We're going to see the highs jump back into the low 90s Colorado Springs with, again, a scattered shower thunderstorm chance into the afternoon, 92 on Saturday, 89 on Sunday. And with those low 90s for Colorado Springs, we are talking about upper 90s and triple digit heat out across the plains tomorrow and again for the first half of the weekend. Shower and thunderstorm chances relatively minimal for Sunday and Monday, but those temperatures stay on the warm side. We'll take a look at your extended seven day for forecast coming up here in just a few minutes. Sounds good. Thanks for that, Chris. People in a rural community south of Pueblo are concerned about their drinking water. In fact, for years, many have complained about their water's discoloration and even its smell. Still, the Colorado City Metro District insists the tap water is safe to drink, but both the state and the water district agree they need a secondary treatment facility. Right now, officials think that's the best way to remove the organic substances and the treatment chlorine from the water here. Now both can produce some byproducts that make the water look and smell bad. We spoke with a state health department official. He says that the district could soon be fined a thousand dollars a day if they don't improve the water quality. I think at this point we're we're at the show me uh, stage of this. We, we want to actually see this design. We want to see that they're are going to follow through and get the uh, get this in place and have a solution together uh, that will provide that long term compliance. I would say I'm optimistic in the sense that this is the right pathway if they can follow through with that. The state water quality manager does say health authorities normally prefer to work with communities on situations like this. That would be better than enforcing rules with an iron fist, but the state might have no choice depending on what the water district designing and finding the money for a facility does and what they do soon. Now this summer has higher than normal risk of West Nile virus thanks all to the rain and we've talked a lot about what you can do to keep yourself safe but for many rural Coloradoans they don't just have to worry about themselves but their animals too. According to Colorado Department of Agriculture, the first horse with West Nile virus in Colorado was euthanized last month. Since then, 18 more have been diagnosed, two in El Paso County, two in Fremont County, and three in Conejos County, with several more throughout the region. While there is no West Nile vaccine for humans, there is one for horses, and it's very effective. To learn more about how to keep your animals safe from West Nile, visit Colorado Department of Agriculture website. 
The Denver Archdiocese is suing over Colorado's new universal pre-K program. The program requires that child care providers accept all applicants regardless of sexual orientation. The Archdiocese says the rule infringes on their First Amendment rights. According to our Denver News Partners, the lawsuit was filed yesterday. In a statement, the law firm that represents them said the state, quote, has banned funding for religious preschools because they provide an education rooted in their beliefs and a Catholic school cannot treat a same sex couple as a family equivalent to their natural family without compromising its mission and Catholic identity, end quote. The lawsuit asks that a court declare this rule as a First Amendment violation and allow the diocese schools into the program. Now we turn to the latest on the wildfires in Hawaii. The death toll continuing to rise. Officials say at least 111 people are confirmed dead with hundreds more still unaccounted for. And now we're learning more about what may have caused that first fire. ABC's Melissa Adan has the latest from Maui. A new video raising questions about the cause of the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. The security camera captures what could be an early trigger. We got there and it's like infernal. I mean, winds gusting to 70, 50 to 70 miles an hour. Amber are flying over. A day earlier on August 7th, a witness describes a flash that might be a tree falling on a power line. It's windy and then there's a flash and I think right. that's when a tree is falling on a power line. The power goes out. By 5 p.m. the next day, Lahaina's historic front street up in flames. We're like in the car and a whole tree is on fire and we're just like... I was like, oh my God, we're gonna die. The power company saying they are still investigating what triggered the fire, adding the cause has not been determined. More than 100 killed, hundreds more still unaccounted for, including 28 year old Paul Makai as Torres Lozano, missing since last Tuesday. I wanna hang on to the hope that he's alive. With the flames now extinguished, residents assessing the damage, so many left with nothing. Groups across Maui now mobilizing supplies as the cleanup effort begins. We're gonna go out and make sure our family's okay and deliver goods to everybody. FEMA, Red Cross, and the military all on the ground. I can tell you it's gonna be a long and costly recovery. President Biden vowing to keep the help coming. We'll be with you for as long as it takes, I promise you. On Monday, the president and first lady have plans to visit Maui. FEMA has promised full support for those who have lost everything, urging those survivors to sign up for aid. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Maui. Now we have breaking news just into our newsroom. The Colorado Springs Police Department confirms an officer was just involved in a shooting. This just happened moments ago. Now officers are on the 1700 block of Aeroplaza Drive, which is in southeast Colorado, not far from Fountain and Powers and right near Panorama Park. This information was just released again by the police department, so we don't have a lot of information at this time. But as soon as we start to learn more, we will, of course, provide that to you. We have a news crew on the way there, so stay tuned if we learn anything while we're on the air, or you can always go to krdo.com for the very latest. Well, the flu isn't the only virus to be on the lookout for as we head into fall. COVID-19 cases have been on the rise recently, and there's still time to answer our web question today. What's your go-to snack at the gas station? Maybe specifically your favorite Bucky's snack, because there's a new one opening here in our state. If you've never been like me, apparently it is the place to be. Join the comments on social media. We're going to read some of those coming up. Whether it's cute and cuddly, <laughs> or just plain wild, KRDO News Channel 13 wants you to share your pics and videos so we can show them on air. Take a look at this wonderful picture sent in by Mike Tice up in Woodland Park. Just go to KRDO.com and click the Share tab, or go to Share in the KRDO app. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Remember, <laughs> share with KRDO. Hey, baseball fans, are you ready to feel the good vibes? It's baseball season with the Rocky Mountain Vibes. Come out to UC Health Park to see tomorrow's stars today, right in your own backyard. Don't miss a single pitch or home run this season of exciting Vibes Baseball. Tickets available right now at VibesBaseball.com. Check out their weekly promotions and food and drink specials. It's fun for the whole family. And don't miss Fireworks Friday all season long. Rocky Mountain Vibes Baseball. Don't miss it.
It's Phil Long's 78th anniversary sale. At Phil Long Kia, we're celebrating with discounts up to $12,500. Head for the hills in the award-winning Telluride or chase adventure in the Kia Soul under twenty grand. Focus on finances. Drive payment free until 2024 because having choices is the American way. Come see for yourself why more people choose Phil Long Kia of Colorado Springs. Phil Long Kia is the better idea. Experience Phil Long and drive Colorado. Since 1957, Overhead Door Company of Colorado Springs has been trusted by homeowners for all their garage door needs. We won't leave you stuck. Our trucks are fully stocked with repair parts and ready for same-day garage door repair. With no extra charge for evening or Saturday service. When you see the red ribbon, it's your assurance you've got the genuine, the original Overhead Door Company of Colorado Springs. Look up. Well, it was another busy day for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Yeah, it comes after a bear was found at a Teller County home. According to CPW's Southeast Region, it happened Tuesday. A, quote, nuisance black bear was released back into the wild while it was hazed with rubber slugs. The bear was previously trapped at a Teller County home, which had a history of bears killing chickens and breaking into the garage. CPW officials says the trap and release is how the agency commonly handles nuisance bears. The hazing helps restore their fear of humans and reduce their chances of wanting to wander back into our territory. Just a reminder, this doesn't actually hurt the bear. It just scoots them away because we know they only get so many warnings here close to town. Paige, you're new. Go. But you're going to see a lot of bear videos working with us. They are they are here, and they like to come down yeah. into our neck of the woods too, Chris. Once in a while, I think it was last summer, maybe the summer before, we saw right one on the campus of Colorado College, yep. right in the middle of wow. downtown Colorado Springs. So, yeah, they like to visit. Take a look at our radar this afternoon. Still pretty quiet, I-25, just starting to see a little bit of that afternoon convection fire in the higher train. This is kind of south of the Gunnison area. There you see an active lightning strike, but again, right now, I-25, it's quiet, and I think it's gonna stay quiet this afternoon. Most of those showers and thunderstorms are gonna be back to our west over the higher terrain as we work late into the day. Right now, clear blue skies, a little haze out there. Might be seeing a little smoke in the air this afternoon. 81 degrees currently and winds coming out of the south at about 6 miles an hour. Low 80s for Colorado Springs and Pueblo. We're up to 86 in Lamar and 81 currently in Canyon City. So temperatures have come down a little bit for our highs this afternoon, but they jump right back up as we go into the weekend, Friday and Saturday. 87 today in the Springs, 94 Pueblo, about 89 degrees in Canyon City. Yesterday you were in the triple digits for the Steel City. So we've kind of got an elongated ridge of high pressure. That's bringing our winds kind of today out of the south South and north, uh, out of the north to northeast, and then a more of a southerly flow catching up with us as we go into the end of the work week. And that dome of high pressure will allow our temperatures to heat right back up. Marching heat uh, into the summer, we've got showers and thunderstorms on the low side both Friday and Saturday, but a few more trying to creep in tomorrow afternoon. Today, most of the activity is back over the Sangre de Cristos and the San Juans, kind of riding up and over the mountains. Any of these, though, may produce some. Pretty heavy downpours of rain, but I-25 and areas out to the east, we're going to be on the dry side this afternoon. Hot again tomorrow, 102 La Junta Lamar, 100 in Pueblo, mid-90s Canyon City, and we're up to 92 here in Colorado Springs. A few more showers and thunderstorms work their way into our area. It's pretty quiet up and through the lunch hour. By 12, 1, 2 o'clock, a little shower activity beginning to pop up. You can see models do depict that over El Paso and Teller County, up into Douglas County and across the Palmer Divide. These aren't going to last very long. They should be done by about 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow night then partly cloudy overnight into Saturday morning. Hot again Saturday afternoon, 102 Pueblo, 104 La Junta, mid-90s around Lyman, 93 Canyon City, and 91 degrees in Walsenburg. So it's a hot weekend that we face as we go into Friday and Saturday. Low 90s Colorado Springs. Tomorrow will be our best chance to see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms will hold in the upper 80s and low 90s through Sunday and Monday. 
Pueblo 99 Friday, 101 Saturday. Very hot temperatures continue through the end of the weekend and into the work week with very little chance for showers and thunderstorms. Monument, best chance for showers and thunderstorms Friday, but a spotty shower possible on Saturday. We're in the mid 80s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And finally for Canyon City and Woodland Park, we hold on to those low and mid 90s through the weekend for Canyon City. Best chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm would be tomorrow afternoon for Woodland Park, Teller County, the higher terrain, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms Friday and again a minimal chance on Saturday. We'll keep the temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s all the way into the middle of next week. That's a check of your storm tracker forecast, guys. All right, Chris, thanks so much. It's time for our web question of the day. What is your go to snack at the gas station? These are just like bringing me back to my childhood and going on road trips with family, thinking back to what we would always get, which is like, you know, the the powdered uh, white powder cake donuts. So bad for you, but so good on the road trip, making a mess in the back seat. Lacey Page, who's running audio for our show, says the Arizona green tea and honey roasted peanuts. That's specific, and that's we had the honey roasted peanuts a lot, but not the Arizona green tea, the raspberry tea. Jill says, I can't wait for Bucky's. Of course, this is coming off Colorado's very first location. It's going to be just north of Denver before you get to Fort Collins along I-25. She says she's never been to one. I'll probably end up buying 25 different snacks and taste them myself. That's kind of what they're known for, right? Frankie says all of Bucky's snacks are amazing. Rhonda says cheese curds, beaver nuggets, all the jerky. Love Bucky's. I used to visit every day uh, at a different store. Lucinda says beef jerky is just so good. Every time I'm in Florida, they've got great snacks. And they're also known, she says, the cleanest bathrooms. And I've read that other places too. Patricia says when we had our motor home, it was beef jerky and the mini chocolate donuts. Yeah, we're on the same donut train. I love it. Peggy says the beef jerky, the sweet tea, they just have so many options. Other people saying, how do I sign up to be a taste tester? Uh, Cindy says Reese's peanut butter cups. And then Judy says their fudge is amazing. So Paige, you're from Texas. Yes. Bucky's is a Texas thing. What is yeah. the go-to snack? I've I never mean, been. First, let me attest to the bathrooms. Okay, I will. that's an important cleanest important bathrooms. I, I would say yes, they're amazing. And then the snacks, I mean, it's a store. You can get okay. your clothes there. You can get some, it, it's amazing. But I'd you say You can buy merchandise snack, yes. and a snack. Love it. You can get it all. But I'd say, just give me an icy. Mm, I mean, I know, like I diabetes in a cup, but give me the blue one though. Okay, blue, yeah, a blue, blue icy. Is it a blue raspberry? Yeah, I would assume so. I just, I okay. just say the colors. Yeah, I love blue, red, <laughs> whatever it is. I like. I haven't color. had an icy in a long time. That sounds oh, great, and especially yeah. in all the Texas heat, it'll cool you down. Oh my God, yeah. So yeah, mm. Bucky's is okay. big Texas thing. So I'm excited. I yeah, I'm gonna have to go visit. There. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good stop. We have so many comments on Facebook. I apologize. I love how popular this web question was. Yeah. If you want to read what other people have to say about Bucky's or maybe their favorite road trip snack, uh, you can go to our. Facebook page right now. Thanks for joining the conversation. Storm Tracker 13 is sponsored by Leo Sewer and Drain Cleaning. We clean drains, not bank accounts. Visit Raton for the 8th Annual Gate City Music Festival. Join us Labor Day weekend for free live music, street fair with vendors, beer garden, mechanical pole, axe throwing, street dance, and concert headliner Mark Wills. Raton, your past is summer fun. Ready for better online school? Introducing Astravo Online Academy, serving grades K through 12. Astravo is tuition free in anything but school as usual. Kids learn best by seeing and by doing. That's why we partner with KiwiCo for our elementary students. KiwiCo delivers engaging hands-on projects right to your home. Science, technology, engineering, art, math. It's seriously fun, hands-on creative learning for growing minds. Astravo Online Academy. Visit astravo.org to enroll today. We are Geofossils, your premier fossil and mineral shop in Colorado Springs. Come see our beautifully designed, handmade gemstone and metallic jewelry and our wide selection of fossils, stones, and geodes. Whether it's that perfect piece of jewelry to complete your look or that amazing conversation starter for your home, we are friendly, knowledgeable, and ready to help you on your journey. We are Geofossils. Come see us at the corner of Vickers and Academy Boulevard. What kind of fun keeps Colorado's oldest fair going strong? Come find out at the 146th Arkansas Valley Fair, August 16th through the 19th in Rocky Ford. Enjoy food, music, and dancing, carnival rides, crafts, concessions, and beer gardens, exhibits, and judged events, a demolition derby and horse racing. Don't miss Kids Day, Parade Day, and the thing that started it all, Watermelon Day with free watermelons. So much fun, it really takes a week. See ArcValleyFair.com for a list of everything to see and do at the 146th Arkansas Valley Fair. Come join the fun. 
Visit Raton for the 8th Annual Gate City Music Festival. Join us Labor Day weekend for free live music, street fair with vendors, beer garden, mechanical bull, axe-throwing, street dance, and concert headliner Mark Wills. Raton, your past is summer fun. We do want to get back to that breaking news of an officer involved shooting this afternoon near Panorama Park. Yeah, Brett, it happened just after 12 o'clock this afternoon. Here's a live look. Police on scene blocking what it looks like that street, the crime scene at the block of 1700 block of Aero Plaza Drive on the southeast side of Colorado Springs. It's not far from the airport and Highway 24. Here's a closer look at that. We'll continue to monitor this breaking news and bring you updates on KRDO.com. Now the flu bug, it won't be the only potential health threat Americans will face over the next few months. According to the federal surveillance data, COVID-19 levels are relatively low, but they are on the rise. You can't exactly call it a comeback because coronavirus never actually went away. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says COVID-19 cases have been climbing since early July. However, they also note that roughly 1% of hospital beds in U.S. inpatient and intensive care units are currently taken by COVID-19 patients. That's compared to 20% during the Omicron surge. Coming up tonight on Cardio, it's a night of new episodes starting off at 7. It's an episode of Generation Gap. Then at 8, it's a new episode of The Prank Panel. And at 9, a new episode of Claim to Fame with Jonas Brothers. Be sure and stick around for all your news, weather, and sports right here on News Channel 13 at 10. KRDO is bringing you a better approach to reporting health stories that we call Healthy Colorado. We've separated our health content into easy-to-find categories. Healthy women will have the newest information women need. While healthy men will focus on issues affecting men. Turn to healthy seniors if you have an aging parent or are a senior yourself. And if you're a parent like me, check out Healthy Kids. And each week, my News Channel 13 stories target every category, delivering content you need to be part of a healthy Colorado. Ah, Colorado. With 300 days of sunshine, outdoor living is part of our way of life. But sometimes the sun is just too much. Make your outdoor living space more enjoyable with help from High West Siding and Windows. From patio covers to open air pergolas, High West Siding and Windows will give you even more reasons to appreciate living in Colorado. High West Siding and Windows, as close to nature as possible. Call 719-522-0561 or visit highwestsiding.com. Dream it, build it, live it. Experience why more Southern Coloradans are choosing Phil Long Hyundai of Chapel Hills during our 78th anniversary sales event. For the best selection of over 450 new Hyundais, choose Chapel Hills, Elantra, Tucson, and more, up to 5000 off MSRP. Incredible 0% financing. Choose Chapel Hills. Plus, limited time hail savings only in Chapel Hills. Having choices is the American way, so choose Phil Long Hyundai of Chapel Hills. Experience Phil Long and drive Colorado. When you're on a motorcycle, you got to look out for all kinds of stuff. But after a crash, it's a danger you can't see that can really get you. The insurance company is working behind the scenes to deny you compensation. They're building a case against you. But at McDivitt Law Firm, we're working for you. Keep your head on a swivel. Let these guys look out for you. Motorcycle crash? Call McDivitt Law Firm. 800-800-8543. McDivitt. Hail. In Colorado, we know how much damage it can do. When severe weather hammers your property, First General Services is standing by to help you pick up the pieces. Our round-the-clock response team can be there within hours, not days or weeks. When your home gets hit, we'll assess the damage, prevent additional damage, work directly with your insurance, and give you a free estimate for a complete and quality repair. Know who to call 24-7. First General Services, locally owned in Colorado Springs since 1983, helping you rebuild. Well, 56, welcome back. Relatively dry this afternoon. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms around Friday. Those temperatures remain above average all the way through the middle of next week, guys. All right, Chris, thanks so much. We just want to say a warm welcome to you, Paige. Thank you. Happy first day on air. Oh, I love it. You're it's doing been so good and so much cooler. If you guys haven't heard, I'm down, down south. I'm from Houston. My last station I was with was in Abilene, but I'm so excited to be here. The mountain air, we're happy yes. to have you. You're doing great. So yeah. you're going to familiarize yourself with Paige. You will see her in the mornings and then on the weekends, anchoring as well and filling in on the noon show, hopefully awesome. a lot. Yeah, well, it was great to be next to the Brent <laughs> to get my first show in the books. Yeah, only up from here. Thanks so much for watching. We're back for a full show at 4 o'clock.
Thank you for watching KRDO News Channel 13. KRDO 13 is now available on any of these streaming services and devices.